Okay. Hi. My name is Aaron, and for my 20 time, I did concussions in the sport of football here at Saratoga High School. Um, so before I begin, ask a few questions. Uh, who here has had a concussion before in the sports they play? Haley, Sakasha, Tavon. All right. So not many of you, but basically, a concussion. A concussion is a severe, severe blow to the head caused by. Uh, uh, temporary unconsciousness caused by a blow to the head. Term is also used loosely to the effects such as confusion or temporary incapacity. Basically, a traumatic brain injury. So, when you get a concussion, you feel symptoms as headache, feeling of pressure on the head, uh, temporary unconsciousness, nausea, vomiting, like really bad stuff. And so, when you play football, you're wearing these helmets. I brought one in the class today. And basically, your mindset is, oh, I have this helmet on, I'm going to run my body into whatever's on the field, whoever's carrying the ball, and it creates concussions. And this helmet, obviously the technology has evolved since when we first started playing football, but these, these heads and the head injuries are really severe and not impractical at all. So I got some stats for you guys. So in 2012, a report was done. Almost 4 million concussions were reported, which was doubled what was in 2002. 33% occurred during practice. 39% are shown to increase in catastrophic head injury, and almost 47% occurred in football. So that's almost half of the concussions. So for my 20 time, I wanted to basically take rugby and incorporate it in football. So rugby players don't wear any pads. They don't, and they're seen to shown as less head injuries than in football. Here you see a photo of an NFL player basically so you see this player on the left here is basically using his head to, as a battering ram kind of thing. And on the right here you see the rugby, they're not wearing any pads, their heads are fully exposed, and they're taught this form tackling where you basically take your head out of the tackle. And it forces these rugby players to tackle the legs and they don't, if they don't tackle properly, they're forced, they are more injured and it kind of forces them to have the mindset of, I don't have any pads on and my head is exposed, I'm not going to tackle improperly kind of like this and how football players think I have pads on, I'm going to use this big metal thing on my head to hurt somebody. So to talk more on rugby tackling, here are some photos. Um, rugby tackling basically forces the tackler to stay low to the ground and tackle the legs of the ball carrier which reduces injury to the head and, and lessens concussions. Um, so what I did for my 20 time, as I played football here for three years now, and I sustained two concussions my first year playing football. And to me, that was basically, I was a rookie. I didn't know what I was doing. I just wanted to prove myself to coaches and players that, you know, I, I want a starting job, but that's not what, I want future incoming football players to think that just because you're putting these pads on for the first time that you're invincible to anything. And that's what I thought my freshman year. So I basically created a video for underclassmen, first year football players coming up that I want them to watch this video. Um, let's see if this works. Okay, cool. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. It's like seven minutes long, but um, we'll start. So I basically took highlights from varsity football. We have a system called Huddle, and I basically took film off of Huddle, put it in this YouTube video, kind of like a PSA, that basically shows like improper technique when tackling and proper technique, because some football players on our team at Saratoga actually do tackle properly, and they're shown to have less head injuries than the ones that don't. So here's a snippet of a player right here, you see he's highlighted, and he basically comes in, and he doesn't make the tackle, but I basically, so at the bottom here, he was flat-footed when making the tackle. That's improper, and I'm not 100% sure if he actually got injured or not, but it's shown here that he didn't make the tackle. He could have suffered a head injury. Thankfully, it looks like he got up. He's fine. So I have more footage. Here's a tackle. A player is coming in. I think it gets highlighted right there. Boom. So here, the player, the ball carrier is standing right there, and he seems to be coming in to make the tackle, but the running, the running, the guy with the ball seems to slip away. Um, so basically what I did 
was I interviewed. I went to go talk with some rugby players. Here's some footage of me getting tackled. Wow. Okay. So I basically came up with some drills. Here's a rugby player. I'm not sure. Dalen Denenberg. He, so these two rugby players, they play rugby for Silicon Valley. Basically showed me. I didn't know much about rugby before. They showed me how to properly tackle. See, he's tackling my legs. So like, we came up with a system of drills that, I'm, that these to show how to tackle properly. Here's a drill with he's on his knees. I'm getting tackled. Yeah. Um, there's one in slow motion. I believe. And then I interviewed them. I don't, there's no sound, but basically. So this video is going to go to um, JV football players, first year, vars, first year football players, and it's going to show them that there's other ways to tackle besides using your head. And that's what I did for my 20 time. Thank you. Oh, yeah, any questions?